we're in here today at uh, the YMCA Epping, the Leisure Centre, to welcome uh, the, the Walking Football Tournament, which is a wonderful initiative from U3A, City of Whittlesea, Football Australia and Football Victoria. It's designed to bring people together to enjoy the game of football, but at a walking pace. I had the privilege of saying a few words before the game started, but it was a real joy for me to see so many people from the football community come out from country Victoria, throughout Melbourne, and want to get involved in walking football. Played two games myself, and it's just been a wonderful day. The highlight has been uh, watching the diversity of people who are participating, diversity in skill level, in culture, in age. It really is inclusive and it's just such a joy to see people loving football. Just the fact that you can get out and be with other people um, with a similar mindset, you can be active, you can get fit, you can have fun. I mean, fun's the most important thing and that's what the whole environment is. It's a really good supportive place to um, enjoy yourself and stay in touch with the game you love. Well, this is the first time we've ever played in a tournament, so it's been, it's been great playing against other groups. And they're having as much fun as us. I belong to U3A, and any organisation that gets older people out of their houses and talking to one another and laughing together is always good for your health without all the rigour, but it has some real physical uh, benefits. Moving at pace, changing direction, activating muscles I probably had long forgotten about, but the best bit about it is just fun. From when you're very young right through to elderly ages, you can play it. Unlike any other sport, it connects the, the community and that's what it's all about ultimately, is that people feel part of their community, um, they can have friendships and they can be part of something a bit bigger. It's wonderful to be on the pitch again after about 50 years and to, and, and to do things I thought I would never do again. So I just love that with a ball at my feet. It's great fun. Keeping socially connected, keeping fit and active is, is such a critical part of healthy ageing. And walking football brings so many of those components, in fact brings all of those components together. You know, your aerobic fitness, your strength, your balance. But in addition, there's that social connectedness and a great emotional feel of being part of a team. That's the beautiful thing about community. We get to share and create new memories and experiences. And particularly with people we know, friends we already have, but actually meeting new people. And today is a great example. I met some people in the football family who I'd never met before. And it was just such a thrill and a really enjoyable environment. Incredible outcomes today, lots of happy people, new connections, some physical exercise. We have to thank the City of Whittlesea and in particular U3A, they're a phenomenon, this organisation that is mobilising and creating opportunities for people over 50, such as myself, to do physical stuff and to reconnect. It hasn't been so easy with COVID and this is a tremendous way in which we can try and address that. And now with the support for Football Victoria and Football Australia, it really has brought the community together. And today we've had teams from all around Melbourne and regional and rural areas. And it's a great testimony to the effort and the contributions that Whittlesea and the U3A have put together. They've done a great job in pulling the event together and if we could have more like this it'd be really good. Sometimes we're a little low on numbers in Ballarat so I think it would do more to help encourage more people to be involved if they could see what fun we, we have here. I know for a fact that there's going to be another event of walking football in September and we'll be there with bells on so please organise more. <laughs>